Pastor Sampson and his wife Charity have served and discipled the children of Taveta, Kenya for almost 16 years. I and my wife came to Taveta with two children, and after we came to Taveta, the Lord blessed us with a third child. But we don't regard ourselves as having three children. I am a father to more than 200 children, and my wife is a mother to more than 200 children. Nobody will call me by my name. They call me mom. It's so easy for me. I embrace them. I love them. Taveta is a remote town located at the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro. Most people farm or trade across the border to make ends meet. Life in Taveta is very difficult for many people. Pastor Sampson and his family left the comforts of Nairobi, the capital of Kenya, in May 2007. When they arrived, they planned to open a salon to support the ministry, but all the equipment they invested in was stolen. So we got to Taveta with only a hundred shillings, like one dollar. We knew it would take the grace of the Lord for us to survive here. Yeah, it was tough. With small children and without food, we knew nobody, but we have only God with us. But you know, as a mom and as a pastor's wife, you trust God, you trust your husband, you trust the calling. When we arrived here, we started going around and inviting people to come to church. We rented a town hall. The first Sunday when we opened the doors, only five little children came. We were reminded of the word of the Lord where Jesus said, do not hinder the little children from coming to me. So when we remembered that word, we saw them as precious souls before the Lord, and we decided to minister to them. After the service, the children followed them home because they were hungry. We didn't even have food in the house, but we prepared tea for them. We bought a loaf of bread and shared with them, and they were very happy. The children spread the word about the generosity they received, and more children came to the church service the following Sunday. When we came to Taveta to plant this church, we thought that God called us to minister to the adults. Up to the second month, no adults were coming to church. The church was packed with children. I and my wife decided to go back to the Lord in prayer, and then we received a clear voice from the Lord. God spoke and he told us, I have called you to serve the children. With no financial support from their growing church, every day was a struggle. There were so many times when we went without food. The kids were coming to our house. Yeah, we, we have problems ourselves, <laughs> but we always give them hope. There is a day when we were thrown out of our house. We didn't have anywhere to go. I knew God, God, as you know, but there are those moments when you even doubt God. It was seven years until we, we got to break through. There is a time when I decided that I'll be quitting Taveta and go back to Nairobi. This Sunday, I came to church. There was nobody in the church. I even decided not to go for Christmas celebrations, to be left behind. And I asked God, why are people not coming to church. I got angry and disappointed, and I decided that that day when I walk out of that hall, I'll go back to my house, pack my things, and go back to Nairobi. So I closed the hall, and I started walking towards the town. And so as I was walking along, I saw a man from a distance walking towards me. This man got closer. He just uh, beckoned me with one finger and I got angry. I approached him. He greeted me and asked me, brother, are you a pastor? I said, yes, I am a pastor. And then he told me, listen, the Lord has told me to tell you that what you are about to do, don't do it. Stay here. The Lord tells you to stay here and he will bless you here. How did he get to know that I'm planning to live here? I didn't share my plans with anybody. I didn't talk to anybody. He walked past me. Just within less than five seconds, when I turned back to ask for his number, he had vanished. He just vanished. I've never seen that man before. And even from that time up to date, I have never seen him again. That was my turning point, and that was the turning point for our children's ministry. Since that day, God provided for them in miraculous ways and led people and ministries to bless them with land and a building. CBN helped them dig a well on their land. Through the CBN team, Pastor Sampson learned of Orphan's Promise. 
From the time CBN and Orphans Promise came in, our work has become easier. Many lives have been transformed, many children have gone to school, many families have been fed, and many people have come to Christ. So the number of meals we used to serve the children was about 200 meals a month, but since Orphans Promise came in, we serve an average of 3,000 meals each month. We have been able to support all of them with school uniforms, with school learning materials. We've not seen the children dropping out of school because of hunger or a lack of school fees. None of the girls have ended up in early marriages. They are taught how to pray. Even when they are going through difficult times, they are taught how to depend on God. They also use CBN Superbook as a tool to teach children the Word of God. We have been seeing these children doing the work of the ministry, evangelizing to their parents and to the adults in their communities. They are now mature young people, and as a result, their parents and their guardians started inquiring about the church where they were coming. Because right now the church has so many adults, around 80% of them were brought to church by the children. And now we have two worship services, one for the children and the other one for the adults. I also want to thank CBN, to thank Orphans Promise. I believe they are the people that God was talking about when this man told me to remain in Taveta and the Lord was going to bless us here in Taveta. We have come to realize that we are not alone. Primary reason is not for them to eat, is not for them to go to school. The main reason is first for them to know Him. So when we see them coming to the Lord and receiving salvation, that gives us a lot of joy in our hearts and to celebrate their salvation. And we'll return all glory to God who makes all things beautiful.